the President's remarks concerning the new beautification stamp. From the East Room of the White House, October 5th, 1966. Lady Bird, Larry O'Brien, my friends, uh, I want to thank each of you for coming here this morning and all of you for letting me participate in uh, the unveiling of this new stamp. I really have no extended formal speech to make to you, but I overheard uh, this morning that Lady Bird and Larry O'Brien were over here in the East Room playing post office. <laughs> and I thought I'd better get over here and play with them. <laughs> I want the Postmaster General to know that I really have no objection to his departing from custom, as he observed this morning, by giving the first album, this beautiful stamp, to the President's wife instead of the president. That's exactly what I would have done if he had presented uh, this album to me. And uh, by doing that, you, Larry, just eliminated the middleman. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very proud moment for all of us, and particularly for me. Uh, this word beautification has become popular, I think, only recently. But Lady Bird and I have been working together on what uh, is now called beautification for more than 30 years. We really began it uh, back when we were with NYA in Texas, and we originated the idea of the little highway parks to dot our roadsides. And before the year 1935 was out, we had uh, more than uh, 400 of them from one end of that state to the other. Uh, now Johnson had as much influence with me then as she does now. And I think that you can see the results of that influence every time you ride through uh, Texas and every time you see the national capital. I don't think that any spring in my memory has been as beautiful to me as the one that we've just had. You could hardly turn a quarter or ride through a pasture uh, in our state, or past a park, or down a thoroughfare or an avenue in this city without seeing some new flowers, or some new shrubbery, or some new trees that were put in by the dedicated members of the Beautification Committee that Lady Bird worked with here in Washington. And to Mary Lasker and Lawrence Rockefeller and the others who have contributed so much to this effort in the nation's capital and in every hamlet in this land. I express to you this morning the gratitude of uh, uh, appreciative people for your leadership and for your dedication and for your generosity. I hope, as I believe all of us hope, that as Washington becomes ever more beautiful, that it's going to be a model and an inspiration to every other community in this land. We have many problems in our country that are going to tax our resources, problems that will take many years for their solution. We cannot wipe out overnight the slums that it took us a hundred years to deteriorate, but I think anyone can plant a tree. Everyone can put a flower box in their window, and I hope that this beautiful new stamp will serve as a constant reminder for all of us to do just that. Beauty is not a very easy thing to measure. It does not show up in our profit and loss statements, but it is one of the most precious possessions that Americans have. Ugly surroundings breed warped and shrunken spirits. There, think, I think, should be sometime in every day of every life to watch the sun set or to smell the flowers or to listen to the birds while they sing. And that's really what the beautification program's all about. You oughtn't to have to go to Wyoming to do it either, Senator McGee. 
I'm pleased that uh, efforts are being made uh, in areas where we have populations, where uh, we can all uh, enjoy some of these things with our children. I'm pleased that the design of this stamp, as Larry pointed out, also commemorates uh, Thomas Jefferson, for no one understood it better than he did. And to each of you who have contributed to this maximum beauty for a great nation, for a great people, I am very thankful. And I'm especially pleased to, to have the chance to work with Ms. Johnson. Thank <laughs> you.